guys welcome back this is day 6 learn sql server in 60 days today we'll talk about lot of interesting thing uh, uh, lot of new thing i can say uh, in the last video we have ended with the with the uh, constraint and in the constraint we left with the foreign key so in this session i will be talking about referential integrity that's a foreign key then i'll be talking about how we can implement it uh, in between relation between two tables with the help of the referential integrity then we'll talk about the different rules which are there for the delete and update if we are using the uh, foreign key in between these two table right so let me show you which topics we'll cover today So these are the topics which we will be going to cover today. So the first topic is foreign key which we have ended yesterday, the last video. Okay, so foreign key. So what is foreign key? Foreign key is also the one kind of constraint uh, which can be placed on table. So foreign key name itself suggests that which is a foreign thing for uh, for uh, some uh, specific table. What does it mean? It means that a table having the uh, dependency and that dependency is not related with the table it is also related with another table what I what does it mean it means that the, let's say I have a table one this table one has some column and this column is depend on the other table I can say it's a table two so table one is depend on the table two so that time there is a relationship between them and that relationship we can call as a foreign key relationship okay so let me show you how we can create a foreign key on table uh, then I will show you uh, what are the different rule we need to think about when we go with the foreign key constant right so first of all just create a table and parent table create a parent table then create a child table and maintain a relationship I have a script ready for you uh, this script is just to create the two table I will explain each and everything so first of all we need to have a master table master table in the sense primary table correct so now I'm, I'm going to create one primary table called as orders orders is my primary table there I have a column called as order ID <clears throat> and this order ID is a primary key of this table and order number uh, I am having it right great we can make it order number as the where just for the string purpose right so this is the first table I have parent table now I need to create a child table that I will have be I will be having a relationship between them so this is order detail tables for this table I am creating the column called as the order ID make this as a primary key so order detail ID is a primary key for this column and I want to make this order ID as a for as a foreign key column so how could I do that just add a constraint this is the syntax this is the name of a constraint so now I'm giving as a name of a constraint as a fk order detail you can give any name as you think then use the keyword called as a foreign key and in the foreign key column just specify the name of a column which you want to uh, keep uh, for the foreign key relationship then references to which table it is references to parent table with which column this is the order id so this is uh, the simple uh, definition of creating the foreign key just create this table table one i just created it uh, then create a second table this is the child table now i am having the two table let me show you the query and i can execute the data um, what is the name of my first table this is my first table and uh, what is my second table my second table is this one please observe it carefully when I execute this I will not see any data because data is not there okay directly try to insert the data in the child table what will happen 
I am going to insert the data in insert into order detail table. So this table are having a few columns like uh, order detail ID. Next is order ID. Then we can say order number. Next, you can remove it. It's not required. Okay, great. It has a three column. So I can drop in recreate it. Great. So these are the three columns which we have in this table. Let's insert some data in it and see what will happen. So the detail ID is one, order ID is one, order number is XYZ one. Great. and let's execute and we'll see will we get error or what will we get when i execute this statement i will get as the data type issue okay fine so order number i have used as in the i just need to pass the integer value let's say 100 i'm passing now see what will happen will i get error or will it be executed successfully i we am getting error so what's the error insert statement conflicted with the foreign key constraint or did the conflict occur in database day private table column id so what does it mean it means that it is saying me that there is a conflict there is a conflict of what there is a conflict in between the uh, uh, foreign key so foreign key column is my order id and there is a conflict so issue is basically uh, in my parent table there is no entry for the order id which is equal to one so let inserts let's insert some data in the order primary table Um, just insert the value as a one order ID and this is 200 something great let's run it <coughs> now I just added uh, one data with a uh, one order ID into the first table now when I execute this what will happen so this is my child query which was which was throwing me error now again if I am querying this what will happen this got successfully executed let's run the query and see what is the output so I can see in my parent table there is a one and hundred uh, in child table there is also one record if uh, I want to insert a second record with a order ID to can I insert it you can insert it right let's run it and see the data got successfully loaded if you'll we'll execute it what will happen so basically what is the thing so if you are specifying uh, any column as the foreign key column it means that the value which are present in that particular column that value should present in the master column of that table of the parent table great so this is about how we can define how we can create a table with a relationship prior foreign key and uh, how can we insert the data and so what are the different errors you can get while working with this so actually this foreign key concept is very easy but it is very important as an interview perspective or for technical perspective lot of people will give us will ask you a simple question like i have a two table there there we have a primary and foreign key relationship uh, can you insert the direct data into the child table if we don't have data in a in a parent table so the answer is very tricky we'll say just simple solution but answer is no we can't because it directly dependent on that but there are a few rules basically <coughs> called as the insert update rules insert update rules which are required you know uh, what happen you know we have, will have some data in a prime uh, in a parent table and we'll have some data in child table sometime uh, we uh, uh, we delete uh, some data from the master table maybe due to some requirement so what will happen <coughs> so there are a situation there are four rule basically the rule i'm going to explain is a set null next is set default next is no action and fourth is casket I'm going to define each and everything 
now currently now we have the data let's let's go one by one and I'm trying to delete the data from a master table will I get any error or it will automatically work let's try to do that delete and when I execute this query what will happen I will see the error the error is delete statement completed with the the conflict occurred in the table column ID order ID so it means that uh, because there is a references between the orders and the audited so we can't directly delete if you want to do that what we need to do we need to first of all delete the data from the child table and then we have to delete the data from, from master table I can show you here just run this query and run this again you will see all data got deleted and now I can see there is no data in the table so there are there are four role basically the uh, rules basically this is this rule is called as the this rule is called as the no action casket yeah okay so uh, I will I, I will show you uh, I will show you practically how we can do that let's take this out I will show you by each and every rule this is my table I just write some drop statement we'll verify that uh, what is the default uh, value for this rule let's drop this table so this draw tables are drop great just draw verify once again yeah so this is my parent table and this is my child table now I want to go with uh, delete operation so on delete just write on delete I discuss four options so first is first we go with a cascade what happened let's create this two table there is already name orders Great. let's create this two table table got created right now uh, insert some data in it this is my master and this is my child table copy it and go to the end to make a good script okay uh, let's insert one record in the master table let's insert the data one record in a child table again you'll get error so just replace with the one okay now I have data with a one row in the order table great copy and I want to see also see the data from the child table let's execute it I will see just make a text output I will see there are one record in the prime parent one and there are two record in the child one right now I'm going to delete the primary parent table so delete from owners what will happen will it throw error or will it be a uh, success I got a success right so what happened actually let's run this query and see so logically if there is any uh, any delete on a parent table and if we are specifying cascade it means that all the relevant record in child table will be deleted automatically this is called as the option number one called as a cascade great now we are going to work with the second option called as the no action great so this is my order table and this is I want to specify as a no action let's drop the two table first then create the two table with the no action let's drop it we have just created this great then created another table 
create another table yeah th these two tables have been created with the cascading option as a no action insert the two records in it add one more child record in the order detail okay great sorry i think i should write some instruct statement here instead of that like that great so we are having the two records in the child table and one okay one only one record great so make it as a two okay and let me see the data i have two child data and now when i'm going to execute this delay statement what will happen it should show me the error because it should not do any kind of operation that's so that is the that is the uh, one rule called as the no action next rule is the default on the let's set default default on to set as a zero let's drop the table cannot run uh, does not okay our table is already drop let's cross verify once again there it great now create the this two table okay so basically um, this is we want to specify here we need to specify the default value and let's say i'm specifying default value as a zero um, and just here write some default constraint script okay i cre have created the parent table i'm creating the child table this is foreign key orders could not create a constraint shift basic something okay so like that you can uh, do work with the default also you can also work with the null let me show you demo first of all just drop this to table okay it is already dropped great um, this is just to cross verify great this create this to table with the uh, with the delete set now the detail right so we are just drop it cannot drop the does not your permission it means it is already drop this one i think yeah this one is also already drop just to cross verify great now uh, just create this two table once again one by one this is first table this is second table we have created and just insert some data in it in order i am inserting only one data and in order to i'm inserting two data now i'm going to delete the data from the parent table so it got deleted and let's see what will happen in the child data you will see there is a column called the order id which is a reference key and that value got changed to null like that you can also think about the default value so this is all about the foreign key and uh, different uh, delete and update rule like that also you can do for the update um, there are a few uh, 
uh, things which I would like to talk about now. Uh, which next is union. So union is just for combining the two results set. Uh, the condition is that the column number should be equal. For example, select one I am specifying or I am taking the data from uh, one table. So if I want to combine or if I want to merge that data with another table, I just need to make sure that the number of columns are equal. That is only the limitation. So when I execute this one, I will get two records, right? Okay. Next part is union all. Union all is also uh, it's like it's work like a union, but it doesn't do the distinct data or it doesn't work on the uh, order by, right? So if I'll uh, if I'll show you here union all, now you'll see the both results set are having the same record. If I execute this, what will I see? I will see the two record. But if I just go with the union, what will I see? I will only see the single record because it works on the distinct operator. So this is all about in the union basically. Yeah. Next is in. In is just to uh, specify the uh, some values in it so that we can filter out the data. For example, uh, if I want to write a query in a such a way that select one where one in one what does it mean will it execute yeah it will execute it will give me one record but if i am specifying that one should not be in this one then see what will happen if i am typing like this it won't return me anything so in operator is just for specifying some values in the condition not in is same like a uh, in but just um, it will work like a not in right not in it's same so you need to specify the values in that so this is all about the uh, uh, relating the differential integrity and other parts hope you enjoyed this video and we'll come up with the next day video so thanks for watching have a great day